Manga Wido. It happened all of a sudden. Huh? What do you mean exactly? Sorry, but our company is downsizing. There's no place for people who can't get jobs and always get complaints from clients anymore. But... My name is Shinji Yanai. After graduating from high school, I joined the IT company F Corporations. At first, I only did office work. But recently, I was moved to the sales department. At first, I was getting contracts just fine. But then, things went sour. And now I'm unemployed. Hey, Yanai! Iguchi-san, why are you here? What do you mean, why? I heard from a colleague that you were fired, so I came to say goodbye. We used to work together, after all. Part of the reason I got fired is because of him, Iguchi. Iguchi joined F Corporations after graduating from college, and is a bit older than me. At first, we were good friends, but then one day, he suddenly started treating me coldly. After some time, he quit, and moved to another IT company instead. He wouldn't stop bothering me after that. He started spreading bad rumors about me to clients. Iguchi-san! It's partly your fault that I got fired like this! Huh? You spread bad rumors about me and kept stealing my jobs, didn't you? Hey, hey, don't make this my fault. It's true that you always try to please everybody and sell customers the products that you want to sell instead of the products they want, right? You've gotten several complaints from customers saying that this isn't what they wanted, right? That's... You say that this is my fault, but you should be thanking me. If I hadn't followed you up and showed customers the products that they actually wanted, they would have gotten even more mad at you. Well, good luck finding a new job, I guess. Bye! <laughs> I've been job hunting ever since I lost my job, but there haven't been any results yet. This weather right now perfectly represents how I feel. I'm the one who should be crying. Wait, huh? That's... I passed by the park and saw a woman sitting on the bench without an umbrella. Uh, are you alright? Uh, Akari? Uh, is that you, Yanaikun? Yeah! What? I brought Akari with me home. She was crying the whole time. Ah, I feel so refreshed. Thanks for letting me use the bath and lending me clothes. Her name is Akari Mamiya. We used to live nearby as kids, and we would play together a lot when we were young. I heard that Akari went to a college in Tokyo after graduating from high school and found a job there, but... When did you come back? And what were you doing in the park without an umbrella? You see... My mom passed away. What? It was so sudden. I was able to keep it together until the funeral ended. But once it was over, it was as if the final string keeping me together broke. And then my heart just went empty. Before I knew it, I was at the park I used to go to with my mom a lot. I see. That must have been tough. I lost my parents as well three years ago in an accident, so I know how you feel. You can stay here until you calm down. Yeah, thanks. The next day, Akari became exhausted from crying so much and ended up spending the night at my house. Ah, I'm so full! It's the first time I've eaten homemade food in a while. You're going to become a cow if you lie down immediately after eating like that. Yeah, yeah. It looks like she feels better now. What? Today's a weekday, right? What do you do for work? Oh, uh, uh... Are you unemployed or something? Mm. Seriously? Hmm, I don't 
like this, Iguchi. But it's true that you get complaints, right? Exactly how did you do sales until now? What do you mean, how? Normally, I guess. Normally? Um, I go around meeting with regular clients and explaining our products to them. And then... Hmm. Sometimes, I go with our products to companies that might want to use them. So that's why... Huh? Alright, I made my decision. I may not look like it, but I'm the CEO of an IT company. Wow! You started your own business? Yes! It's called Red Village! Uh, is that because you're named Akari? That's kind of lame. Ow! Anyways, I'm a full-on saleswoman both now and in my previous company. My guess is that the reason you were fired isn't just because of a Gucci, but because you are also just bad at sales. What? This can't be just a coincidence. As thanks for letting me stay here, I'll train you personally. What? That's how I became an employee at Akari's company. Alright, why don't you first show me your conversation skills? Uh, aren't these pamphlets of the company I used to work at? They work in the same industry after all. You have to know your competition. Alright, use those papers and try to sell me a product. Um, first, I'll explain to you this product. Huh? That's how you'd start? But they need to know the products first. No! You need to listen to the customer first. Find out what the customer is having trouble with and then sell them a product that will help. Akari's teaching was spot on. She showed me how to get the customer to talk about what they need and how to give proper product explanations and then practice with me until I could do it as well. I worked as hard as I could as well, so as to not let Akari down. Alright, next. Getting new customers is essential in this line of business. How did you do it when you worked in sales? Um, I just went around one by one. What? Are you being serious? I don't have any special connections after all. Ugh, it looks like we have to start from the beginning. Sorry. Listen, no decision maker in modern Japan is going to agree to a meeting with you if you just call them or visit their office suddenly. What should I do then? You want them to contact you first. There's not only fax and email, but now there's even matching sites built for each industry. You need to use those tools to first decide who'd be interested and then send them proposals that have merit for them. Spreading information online that your target demographic might want is also good. I see. What do you mean, I see? This is not even the basics. Akari's brutal sales training continued after that, and... It was finally time for me to apply what I learned. The result was... Thank you for making time today. We've been looking forward to today's meeting. Why don't you sit and let's talk? Let me ask you again, but what you want is... I did just as Akari taught me, and before I knew it, I was able to get several contracts. Impressive. I was worried at the start whether you would do well, but you're one of our top employees. I'm not that good. Alright. Now that you're starting to get the hand of things, your next target is here. We're going to meet with their CEO today. Huh? Nice to see you, Mamiya-san. Nice to see you as well, Hirasaki-san. Yanaya-kun, this is the CEO of A Holdings, Hirasaki-san. And sitting next to him is a senior executive of B Corporations, Wada-san. Uh, nice to meet you. 
I'm Shinji Yanai. Mamiya told me about you. I heard that you're going to join our group? Yes. <laughs> yes! He's one of our best salesmen right now, and I thought that it would be a great opportunity for him to gain experience. Apparently, this group they're talking about is a gathering of important people in our industry. The members mostly consist of CEOs, directors, and their sons. Apparently, they strengthen their relationships by doing volunteer work together. I participated in their meetings and volunteering events, not quite knowing what was going on. But before I knew it, the other members started asking me about our products, and I was able to get contracts without even having to do sales pitches. This is all thanks to Akari. <sighs> Today was such a long day. Um, I've been wanting to ask you this for a while now. But why are you always so nice to me? Do you remember how I was back in high school? Yeah, why? I was in a tough place back then. My grades weren't getting better and my parents always got mad at me. And since all I did was study all the time, I had no friends and was alone. You're the only person who decided to talk to me. Remember how I was on the roof one day looking really down? Oh, I remember. You looked like you had given up on everything. <laughs> yeah. You saved me then by being kind to me. Thanks to that, I was able to work hard and get to where I am now. You're over-exaggerating. That day at the park as well. You were kind to me again, just like in high school. It might not have been much to you, but to me it was a huge help. Akari... That's why it's my turn to save you. Alright, I'm gonna go home now. Good luck with tomorrow's meeting! Oh, okay. I promised to myself that I would make tomorrow's meeting succeed no matter what. I arrived at the luxury hotel that was the venue of the meeting the next day. Alright. But when I went in, I suddenly ran into someone I knew. Oh, Yanai! Ikuchi-san! I heard that you still haven't had enough and are still doing sales, but was it actually true? Well, knowing your capabilities, I doubt you're having much success, though. Alright, I need to go talk to some of the CEOs. Good luck! He said that with a sneer and disappeared into the crowd. I don't have time to bother with people like that. Oh, Yanai-kun, you came! Oh, Mr. Sekiguchi, thank you for inviting me today. Sorry to be so sudden, but there are some people I want to introduce you to. The people Mr. Sekiguchi introduced me to were the CEOs of A Corporations and B Corporations. He's Yanai-kun, the person I told you guys about the other day. He's the best salesperson at Mamiya-kun's company. Nice to meet you. I'm Shinji Yanai. You see, we're currently using C Corporation software to manage our employees' salaries, calculate profits, and organize information about our clients. But since our company has been growing recently, we've been wondering if there isn't a more simple and efficient software program. Our company's software is pretty old now as well. It's been causing us a lot of headaches recently, so I asked Mr. Sekiguchi for advice which is when he said that I should meet you. Thank you very much. Our company has a solution for just such problems. Damn it! Those were the CEOs I was targeting! He stole my customers again! I think I drank too much. Well, I was able to get several contracts, so... <laughs> I washed my face in the bathroom to refresh myself, and was returning to the hall when... What? Why you? You stole my customers again! What sort of dirty tricks did you use this time? Huh? What are you talking about? 
Don't tell me you forgot! That time when I was negotiating with D corporations, you just suddenly stepped in and took the deal from me! D corporations? It's true that I did summarize a series of negotiations with them once, and made a contract with them once, but... Stop pretending you don't know! You've always been like that! You barely do any hard work, and instead just laugh and try to please everyone! And for some reason, people end up trusting you! Sorry, but the reason I got those offers is because I put in effort. I didn't use any dirty tricks. LIAR! You got those deals with A corporations and B corporations using connections, didn't you? What? That's when. So you're the Aguchi san he told me about. Akari! Oh, uh, uh, CEO! CEO? I saw your name on the attendance list and came since I was worried. But it looks like I made the right decision. Who the hell are you? Are you sure you want to talk to me like that? I may not look like it, but I'm pretty well known in this industry. Two of your main customers, D corporations and E corporations, are in the palm of my hand, in effect. What do you mean? I was approached by them asking for advice. Apparently, a salesperson named Gucci had been persistently coming to their offices and bothering them. Not only that, but they said that he frequently insults others. I heard that you always insulted Yanai-kun's sales performance, but it looks like you were pretty bad as well. Huh? I'm not gonna believe what a tiny CEO like you says! Believe what you want, but let me tell you this. We are in the same industry, which means that our target demographics overlap. The person who is more skilled is the one who gets the contracts. Maybe the reason your customers always end up looking somewhere else is because you're the kind of person that shouts and insults others. What did you say to me? Why don't you stop using dirty tricks and instead try getting customers the honest way? Why you? It's as Mamiya Kun says. Mr. Sekiguchi! Sorry, that was bad manners of me. No need for you to apologize. I went to the bathroom and saw that you started talking like that not only to salespeople from other companies, but to CEOs as well now? It looks like someone's grown really big. Ah, oh, uh, that was... I didn't say anything until now, since you were another company's employee, but I've had enough! This event is being held so that people from different companies can strengthen their connections! It isn't a place for someone like you, who only knows how to look down on others! I'm sorry! If you heard what I said, then don't ever show yourself in front of me again! LEAVE! Yes, sir! You saved us! It's fine. Just as I said earlier, I was sick of his actions as well. Still though, you're lucky having her as your CEO, Yanai-kun. Uh, yep. After that, I never saw Iguchi again. And then... You really don't know when to give up! We decided to make a deal with Yanai-kun's place, so leave! And don't come back! But, CEO, give us one more chance! Do I have to repeat myself? Iguchi continued trying to lower my reputation by saying this and that, but no one will believe him now, and my reputation remained intact. Instead, he became famous for insulting other companies and forcefully trying to make contracts, which is why his company finally decided to fire him. Why me? I, on the other hand... Alright! Another day of work complete! Why don't we go for dinner after this, Akari? Great idea! 
Let's eat, Yakiniku. Sure. I asked Akari to go to dinner with me, so I could thank her for helping me with Iguchi. But ever since then, I started seeing her in a different light. Recently, I asked her to go out with me, and she said yes. We're planning on going on a trip together soon. Depending on how you look at it, it's thanks to Iguchi that the two of us got together. So, I guess I have to thank him. <laughs>